Hello everybody, my name's Ninja. Welcome back to episode 209 of Fortnite. Today, last episode, we- No! I had a fucking jump pad that I could've used, man. Those kids were so fucking bad, dude. I'm so fucking dumb, dude. I'm done with this game, man. It's even fucking bad, dude. He's so bad, man. Are you kidding me? I couldn't build because of this stupid fucking crate, dude? <laughs> Alright guys, it is Gamer here. Back again- Sorry, I realized I've introduced this video with two different aliases. You decide which one's real. So I thought it was time for another quick fire topics. It's been a while. I also think the orange suits quick fire topics, don't you? I think so. I'm also planning on doing some new graphics for this, so maybe we'll have some cool things happen on screen. I don't know. I haven't done any of it yet, but I'm aiming to. So let's just hope for the best that I did it in the future. Anyway, let's do some fucking topics. I think we should get the first one out of the way that a lot of people have been asking me, and that's what do I think of the new Odyssey DLC trailer? I didn't know it came out. Should we watch it? Let's watch it together. Okay, here we go. Legend of the F Legacy of the First Blade. If I did, would be a good start, wouldn't it? Whoa! 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 That was so sick, I don't even need to fucking watch anymore! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry to all of my neighbours. <laughs> I just love Assassin's Creed! I've also made reviews on the game that no one's watching. Sorry, I don't know what happened to the mic. That might have fucked everything up. I'll link the reviews in the description, if you want. Now the big question is, who is Uncle? Is he Arthur Morgan? Is he Red? <laughs> is he Red Harlow? I've come up with a theory that Uncle is indeed Jack Marston from the future. After killing Edgar- sorry, spoilers for Red Dead 1, that eight-year-old game. After killing Edgar Ross, Jack Marston decided he needed, um, Shit. Jack Marston d wanted to go back in time because, because fuck it, he did. And he goes back in time to be with the, the Vandaling gang and he shows up and he's uncle and he, and he, and he inadvertently causes the events of Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Redemption 1 to happen. It's all because of uncle, because he's Jack. Ethan, get on it. Detective Ethan. Let's, come on. Figure it out. I think I'm onto something. Credit me though. I need the subs. Listen, look. Listen. You just- you don't understand. Reusing protagonists, it's not- it's not fresh enough. Look. Witcher 3? Three games with ga- Fuck off! No! Uncharted, four games with net. Plus three games too many! Stop it! We need one game per ca- What? No, not just one mediocre game per character. Because if people- because- because- They- you see, they- they fucked up with Origins. They made a good character. But they shouldn't- they, no, 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 no. You make- Bad character. That's why they got rid of Darby, because they thought if we get rid of Darby, Bike will suck. And then when we move, no one will care. Because uh, no one cared when they switched from Arlo, no one cared when they switched from Shay, no one cared when they switched from Jacob and Evie, and no one will fucking give a shit when they switch from Cassandra and Alex. Alex. Uh, what's his fucking name? Alexios. No one will care. That's the thing. You gotta make mediocre games. Enough to sell your game, but not good enough that people want more of it. That's why Origins was such a fuck up. That's why Black Flag was such a fuck up. Because people want more of it, people want more buy it, but that's not, that's not good. What they need to do is make mediocre game with a character so that they can move on to the next, because that's how you make good games. It's like GTA! <laughs> now boys, this is a bit more of a serious topic. And that's Article 13 that's just 
not just, it's been a bit, but it's been passed by the European Union, which I'm soon to be leaving because I'm from the UK. And Brexit means Brexit. So this won't affect me in the future, I think, but it may affect me before we f officially leave, which I believe is December, if, you know, the bef when everything goes through. But December 2020, I think, when everything goes through properly, I I've, I've been trying to keep up with it. It's just a bit all over the place, isn't it, Brexit? So I've been trying to... To, to, to keep up but it's a bit tough I, I can see positives and negatives I'm you know what it's, it's happening so what, it's, let's all fucking figure it out and stop crying because it's happening so let's you know let's just go with it you've got to support it in whatever way you can instead of being Jeremy Corbyn and sitting in the corner going fuck it Theresa May because I mean that's not going to help is it um anyway yeah for that uh article 13 that's been passed by the European Union means that there's higher um, copyright l laws, well, that was not a good job, James. Copyright is being cracked down on more in the EU, I believe. So if something is not entirely your product, so say like a video game let's play or a review or you use a piece of music or whatever, your video isn't just claimed like it would be normally or sometimes wrong because fair use. It's like fair use doesn't exist. It's just like if you don't own everything and you don't have full permission you're we're blocking your content that's essentially what it is it, it's like you know more memes they're not legal you know it can really really affect like commentary channels video game channels mover review channel all, all of these things it can really really affect your content think of it as i mean nintendo's changed their policies now but prior to it nintendo had uh this policy where unless you're part of their little, little like partner program if you made nintendo content you're blocked and that was it and that's pretty much what's going to happen to the entirety of the internet within the European Union because of Article 13. I'm pretty sure there's there's something that there's like changes that can be made because overall it's not the, the principles of Article 13 aren't negative, but the wording of it and the way that it's written, the way that, that, that it can be enforced means that it can be manipulated. So it's not inherently bad, and it doesn't mean that the European Union is out to block all of the YouTube memes. That's not what they're doing. The way that it's worded, the way that it's written, means it can be manipulated to be harmful to content creators. Uh, like I said, being leave, like Brexit means that, I mean, it's not going to affect me if it does for too long. Um, but, you know, it could affect my viewership from people in, with, within, within the European Union, or, you know, it can affect content creators within the European Union. So, I mean... I'm not too sure what there is we can do about it because it's already been passed. All it seems, because everywhere I've gone to look it up, it's not like somewhere where you can protest or you can do like a poll or whatever. It's like people just talking about it. And it's like, sure, we can talk about it, but I don't know what there is we can do. If anyone knows, sure, let, let us know in the comments. But like I said, I don't think it'll affect me for too, too long. So, you know, uh, thank God for Brexit. Next. <laughs> Battlefront 2, I know I made a video saying it's not bad. Um, <laughs> the game itself ain't bad. The game itself is fine. The base mechanics are good. Um, you know, flying's great, the shooting's fun. Like it's, good, like, it's good. The issue is, although there's enough content at launch, they didn't support the game because DICE, uh, who would have been working on it, but EA were like, oh, we had to take microtransactions out? Well, uh, stop working on it because we're not making money anymore. DICE had just a tiny team to work on this DLC, and it's taken them about a year to get this Clone Wars DLC out with Obi-Wan and General Grievous, and then Anakin and Dooku, which will come at a later date, and the Geonosis battle and all of this, and I might hop on to check it out because I watched the trailer and it does look cool, like it's Star Wars and it's the Clone Wars and I love it. Maybe I'll check it out, maybe I'll stream a little bit of it, we'll have, we'll check it out, but I cannot see myself playing it for the foreseeable future. The issue is that they didn't keep it consistently supported, and that's not DICE's fault, that's EA's fault. When they realised they couldn't make money from microtransactions, they just fucked it off because that's what they do. And that's the same thing Ubisoft does with like the Division 1. It was it was not heavily but like the only the only times that Ubisoft have been successful with their multiplayer endeavors is with Rainbow Six Siege because they bothered to continue supporting it post launch. <laughs> Even though the launch was rocky and that proved good and that should show people like EA just keep supporting your games because you can have success with them and more people will buy them and be talking about them. Companies do not think 
long term. They think short term, and I get it. They have to impress their investors. I get it. But also, stop it, because your game sucked. So, I would, um... <laughs> I don't have any underrated character necessarily, but underrated video games, the fucking saboteur. Has anyone played that game? I swear I'm like the only one. Whenever I bring it up, people are like, what's that game? It's, oh, it's so good. I always wanted a sequel, but then, pan fuck. But then Pandemic Studio, Pandemic Games, Pandemic Studio. Shit, I don't know. Pandemic fucking went. Was it bankrupt? I don't remember. They also made Battle the old Battlefront games. They're a great studio. They made the Saboteur. It was so good. I might stream it one day. I love it. It's so fun. Let me sell it to you because you could go buy it. Probably open world World War Two Paris. That's been like it's like under Nazi occupation, and each district is controlled by Nazi territories. Think of it, and you have to sort of free each territory by helping the resistance in Paris. You play as this character called Sean Devlin. He's fucking great. What a great character. I love him. He's funny. He's witty. He's not a dickhead. He's great. All the characters are interesting. You can, you know, you have the freedom of, like, Grand Theft Auto to go, like, steal cars, you know, just punch NPCs. If you, if you, if you're feeling like it, and you feel like you want the Nazis to come chasing you, and you don't feel bad, because the police in this game are just the Nazis. So it's like, if I go on a rampage and I'm killing all these police, they're just fucking Nazis. So it's fine. I'm not killing innocent police officers. They're just, they're, they're horrible Nazis. So it's, it's fine. And I love it. And you blow things up and you can climb the Eiffel Tower. You can climb any building. It's like Assassin's Creed in that sense. The climbing's a bit like janky, but it's a 2009 game. It looks great. You can climb every, you can climb the Eiffel Tower and jump off into a little little pond it's so fun it's such a good game oh my god seriously it's so good i would recommend it to anybody it is such a good game i really want to play it right now i'm, I'm gonna have to stream it i'm gonna have to stream it one day just from start to finish or do a series oh i love it oh my god i have to i've got to do it okay back on track i'm the sap oh saboteur is so I'm going to I'm going to have to stream it one day. It won't ever. No. I get this I get this a lot. A lot of people say like, "Oh, when do you think Assassin's Creed will be good again?" Or how do you think it could be good again? Or like, which they can't. It simply cannot. <laughs> it's not possible because nobody involved in it gets it. That's the issue. Um, as good as a Bayek sequel would be. That doesn't mean the franchise is good again. I have been so disillusioned. I, or I had been disillusioned with the franchise for a long time. And now I just think it's a fucking big garbage. I think it's trash. Fucking awful franchise. Terrible lore that contradicts itself. Boring. It's boring lore that contradicts itself. It's shit. Fucking awful franchise. With a couple really good games in there. You know, first four, fantastic. Black Flag, Origins, brilliant games. The rest, sometimes bearable in places, but shit. And just the franchise in general, shit. Shit comics, shit fucking the doing an anime, shit movie, shit apps, shit fucking shit. It's like, they can't make it, you cannot come back from that. It's not possible, unless you reboot everything, and they make a new name for themselves, and they really go, let's just make this a bloody brilliant, but it, they won't do that. So it's not worth talking about, because it's Ubisoft. And this shit. And Assassin's Creed sucks. So that's really it, isn't it? Um, unfortunately. There you go. But give me a bike sequel and I'll fucking love it. <laughs> He's alright. Should we go see him? Let's go see him. Hello everyone. Welcome to uh the Blind Dog Chronicles. Today we have this blind dog. To prove he's blind. I'm going to put my hand in front of his face. And when I do, if you can see it, I want you to say, Gamer. As you can see, he is not saying Gamer, and therefore is blind. To I Facts. I mean, I thought it looked great, the prequel. I thought it looked great. 
and it still looks great. The issue is they did leave Beyond Good and Evil on a cliffhanger, so I find it so strange that they're doing a prequel and not a sequel. But fucking hell, Ubisoft sticking with the same character. We've got Paige and Jade. How? It's Ubisoft. Beyond Good and Evil is the anomaly within Ubisoft. They're giving them all the time they need, all of the resources, not forcing it out the door. They're keeping the same characters in the same story in the same universe. What the fuck? That's not Ubisoft. They don't do that. But they are. So I have a lot of faith that Beyond Good and Evil 2 will be fucking phenomenal. But I am confused as to why it's a prequel, not a sequel. I would have liked a sequel because they did leave us on a cliffhanger and we had our crew together with all the characters and I thought it'd be cool to have a sequel where you play as Jade rather than creating your own character. Like, I would love to play as Jade with my crew and travel through all these places. Like, that'd be sick, but like, also, I guess, cool what you're doing. Like, I think it'd be a great game, but also, a sequel would've been cool too. Look. Diversity. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, we get to play as a male or a female epic Spartan warrior. In Red Dead, we play as a white male. Sorry, that's difficult to say because it's disgusting. White male with all of his white male friends. They have one black, fr one black friend. All the women are fucking prostitutes. It's disgusting. Disgusting display of diversity. I'm not having it. I will not let the patriarchy win. Odyssey. It just, you get to be a badass female Spartan. You get to fucking kill all these men that are being fucking pricks. You get to kill them all. How are they being pricks? Well, they're men. Of course they are. Red Dead, you see, it plays to the male fantasy. Odyssey is so diverse and inclusive. Who cares that the story sucks? Who cares that the characters suck? Who cares that the gameplay is an unbalanced mess? You get to play as a woman in a man's role. It's better. She is my queen. She's the best character. And it's so good. It's so good. And that is the only thing you see, although Red Dead does everything else better. Story, characters, world, Gameplay, immersion, balancing, everything, it does everything better, doesn't have diversity. And you know what the only thing that counts in media is? Diversity. And that's why Odyssey is Game of the Year! <sighs> now, if you'll all excuse me, I'm gonna go and play the saboteur to kill some Nazis. Goodbye. Sorry, that's the most active I've been in about seven years. Fuck. Me. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, then subscribe. I never ask people to subscribe anymore. Subscribe. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate it. Like the video too if you enjoyed, and if you want to join our Discord server, which is the best Discord server, go ahead to the link in the description and join it. The community's fucking sick. It's fucking sick. Join us. We love you all. We will uh, we will appreciate you all. I mean, look, when you join for the first time, everyone's going to bully you. But it's like canonizing. Once you've been bullied and you get promoted to that next rank of standard gamer after being there for a while, everyone loves you. You, you get on with everyone. We have good laugh. It's good banter. But when, you, when you're a white name and you're new to the chat, everyone's going to bully you. But it's just part of the process. Don't worry about it. It's all done out of love. It's character building. It's that's what our community is built on. Bullying children. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, boys, and I'll bloody see you next time. Goodbye.